So uh, welcome to our first uh, Pivot Talk interview. Uh, today on the other side of the screen we have Noel Reeves, uh, the founder of Rocket Exhibition Services. Uh, hi Noel, uh, it's good to have you here. Hi Paulina, thanks for having me. Uh, you're the founder and managing director of uh, Rocket Services, uh, a supplier of display stands for exhibitions, trade shows and events. Mm, you founded the company back in 2009 and it's been a good ride. Uh, how did you become successful in the industry? So I worked, I've worked in exhibitions pretty much my whole career. Um, so I did um, you know, 10 years before I started Rocket and I've worked in the organizer side, supplier side, and also I've been an exhibitor myself before. So when I started Rocket, it was very much about solving the problems that exhibitors had. We started with the very small stuff and then over time just gradually did bigger and bigger and got into more and more things to the position that we're in now where we work with hundreds of companies uh, every year. So yeah, it's been a good ride, like you say, but uh, it's changed somewhat in the last few months. Yes, and then the March and the COVID-19 appeared. Uh, how did it influence on your business? Uh, it stopped it almost uh, overnight. I was away uh, skiing in, on holiday in um, at the end of February. Um, came back and we had one one job at one show uh, cancel, and then within a week we lost an the, the pretty much a whole month's worth of work. And then the following week we lost another month or two's worth of work. And then all of a sudden shows started cancelling, and we. Our entire order book although we have we still have the orders or most of them um, we don't know when we're going to get to deliver them uh, mostly most of them have been postponed now either to the end of the year or next year so we, we lost pretty much our entire uh, uh, yeah, flow of work basically over, almost overnight so yeah very bad okay so uh, when was exactly the first time you started to think about the pivot uh. Um, probably not as early as you might think. Um, first of all, the my um, objective, main objective was survival uh, for Rocket. So we had to work a way of um, hibernating the business, reducing the cost, keeping uh, keeping the money there to be able to deliver the projects that we have committed to. Um, so very much in the first few weeks, it was all about focusing on that survival and what we had to do to 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 ensure that. So it was about talking to, um, you know, making sure that we had money in, balancing it with money out, making sure we had everything in place so we could technically just hibernate the business and at the minimal cost. Um, so and then to allow us to get to the other side. Um, once we had done that, then we looked at what else can we do and we looked at what what do people need what do we have and how can we help them so we've looked we just sort of thought about lots of different ideas about what we could do and yeah we've come up with um three or four or four or five actually um different things that we're going to be doing over some we've launched already and others will be launching over the next few weeks and all of those things use uh infrastructure that we have so whether that's machinery people premises whatever the things that we have to try and pr protect the jobs of the team to try and bring people back to work in a safe way as as quickly as possible um and yeah just and and to again to help protect the the main business as it goes on but the more and more we're working on these new ideas the better and better they're becoming and now we're thinking, okay, well, these could technically overtake the business that we had already, or certainly mean that we are a much, much stronger business on the other side as a group. So, so what ideas you decided to bring live? So the, so the first thing we did, which was we launched a, um, a takeaway pizza service from our home. Uh, we, have, we have a wood-fired oven in the garden, which we've been cooking pizzas on for years. And uh, we just, I just thought, well, actually, we can make, we could, we could sell pizza. We can do it from home. I'm home anyway. 
we can service the local community. We live in a small village of about 2,000 people. Um, so we just came up with a brand. We did a flyer, did a menu, dropped leaflets through the doors, and, uh, and then set up a little Instagram page and a Facebook page. And uh, yeah, it went, we, we, so we did that last week. We launched it on th Wednesday or Thursday last week, and it went crazy. And we sold out on Friday, Saturday. It was chaos, absolute chaos. So yeah, we, we did 150 pizzas on the first weekend. And, uh, and yeah, we've, 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 so we're doing it every Friday and Saturday and we've already sold out for this Friday coming. Um, so yeah, it's been, it's been really positive. And like I said before, in, um, I, I did a post about it. I just thought if that could be the one thing that just pays my mortgage, then I don't have to worry about that. And it's more than, more than going to do that. Um, as long as it continues of course um but yeah that's one of the ideas that we've done obviously that's not as part it's not technically pivoting our main business that's just something that we're doing at home for ourselves but we have just today launched um a a, a spin-off called um emily and edward it's named named after my two children mm. and it's a um a, a business that supplies brand um not branded but uh, designed patterned self-adhesive vinyl for upcycling furniture so for people who are at home obviously everyone's at home at the moment um to if you might have some a wardrobe or a chest of drawers or fireplace or splash back in the kitchen anything like that we've got a whole range of um self-adhesive patterns that you can just do yourself and um, very inexpensive good really good range um so yeah we've launched that today that's really exciting and we think that that's got a lot of legs um as we try and get that out there so and yeah, we've got a few other ideas that I can't talk about just yet, but they'll be coming out in the next few weeks. That's great. Uh, how do you imagine when the COVID-19 pandemic is gone, uh, do you plan to extend the pizza business or the furniture business? Would you like to go on with it or you would like to be back to the primary business? Uh, it's a difficult question. I, I think yes, the answer to that is yes, is whether... It, I, what I need to do is obviously get that to a point where I, I can't run it all, you know, on my own. I just don't have, I don't have time re really a struggle for time is, 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 the, is the big issue. So um, yeah, we have to, I have to make it viable, but yes, certainly. I mean, we, we said at the start, if, if it takes off and it works, well, perhaps we'll open a shop in the town. Um, you know, why, why, why would you not do that? Um, so yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Watch this space. Certainly, the um, the Emily and Edward uh, will definitely, definitely keep going. That's that's something I think is is going to grow to be something really substantial. Uh, and the other ideas as well. They're they're all designed to strengthen the existing business we have, um, or replace it um, yeah, for for the time being. So. Yeah, absolutely. We'll continue. I imagine as long as they work, we'll continue with them. And we'll, and it's also made me realize where my passion is about understanding people and why they, why, what they need and why they buy it. And then trying to come up with something that fits that need. And I realized that now I've, you know, I should, probably should have been launching other things before this. Um, so, you know, it's created an opportunity to give you time to think about it and make it happen. That's great. Okay, so I have the last question. Uh, what were the three biggest challenges to completely change the direction of your business? Okay, uh, biggest challenges would be, I guess, mindset is the is the first thing, because you think, well, this I've created, we've built this thing for years and years and years, and it's all I've thought about and focused on. All of a sudden, you need to accept that it's changed there is th that side is now on pause there are no events so we cannot sell products for that um, so you have to accept that and then and then i guess uh, cost is an issue um, whatever you're going to try and do every the talk at the moment is all about conserving cash and saving money and you know but you can't do that when you're trying to launch a new business. So you have to spend money, but you've got to spend it in the right way. And like I said earlier, you've got to leverage the assets that you've got in terms of, you know, you use those things. Um, you know, they, they say, you know, you can, uh, well, I, I said something the other day about you use what you've got to keep what you have. 
So if we can use the things that we have the, 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 in terms of infrastructure, then we'll keep the, keep the core together. Um, so that's a challenge. And I guess the other challenge really is just is, is risk, but risk is, has to be measured and you don't start a business without risk at any time in the good times, bad times, you have to just take that risk. Um, yeah, there's a big difference between a risk and, a, and gambling. You know, gambling is when you, 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 t you take a chance on something that you perhaps can't really afford to lose. Um, so for me, it's about measuring risk and thinking, okay, what's the impact if it doesn't work against what's the impact if it does? And if, and if there's a, a good chance we can make it work, then that risk is worth taking. Okay. Uh, so thanks a lot for this pivot talk. I keep my fingers crossed for your pizza business and the other ideas. Uh, I wish I could try a piece. Uh, the weekend is coming super closely, so that would be the ideal time for the pizza. Uh, so, Noel, thanks a lot one more time for, for, for this talk. And, thanks for inviting me. I would like to invite you for other Pivot Talk interviews. Uh, I'm really curious, uh, what are your thoughts on business uh, Pivot examples? So let us know in the comments and thank you a lot. Bye. Thank you.